Power Apps and Power Automate have a handful of new little things that aren't worthy of entire videos themselves. So I just thought we'd do a quick little run through here and show you some of these cool little features to make sure you understand them and you understand some of the workarounds that might be associated with them. All right, sign fun? Then let's just switch over my desktop and take a look. Okay, the first one is they've changed the sharing interface. So if you go here and we go to share an app like we always have, when you go to share it, you now get this Microsoft Word Office style pop-up. And so here we can just share like always, right? We go in here and be like, hey, I'm gonna share with Chewy the dog. And then boom, we go to share with Chewy. And when we do this, we can either make him a user, which was a default, or a co-owner. So none of that is different. Um, we can also include a message that would go in the email. That's pretty normal. But one of the things you might want to know is if you get the gray box, like, hey, there's additional permissions. So it is a good reminder that if you click manage access, that this will show you who currently has access. But then also here, additional data access. This is that reminder that, hey, this app uses that SharePoint list called an employee list. Whoever you share it with, you need to give them permissions, right? Power Apps is not changing the permissions. Power Apps is just reminding you that you need to go update the permissions to this SharePoint list in this particular case. Now, if we go back over here, um, one thing that is missing, I would say, is that if you go, remember, you used to be able to type in everyone. It would say everyone in company name. Uh, it's not a very used feature, but it is gone. So just a heads up there that that is not uh, available anymore. But if you find that, hey, I want that back, or I want to do things the old way for whatever reason, it is kind of hidden up here at the top, but there's the little ellipses. Like the Power Apps team likes to hide stuff behind ellipses. And then here we can upload an app image. So the same way you should be able to add a picture that just go in the uh, email that goes out to the users. So if you want to screenshot of the app or something, uh, but you can still use classic sharing. And so if you go to use classic sharing, now you've got the old interface, right? There's those same options. But the difference here is that in the box, we've now got the dear everyone in bold zebras LLC, right? So that is uh, available to you, right? So sharing, it's just a nicer interface. Um, one more thing about sharing. Let's do one more click here. Share. Um, also here we have copy link. So if you wanted to copy the link to play the app, uh, sorry, that's the one that you'd send out to the user. So if you're going to like, maybe you shared it with a bunch of people and then you said, hey, I want to post it in Teams, the announcement or something like that. That's the link to get straight to the app. And then copy link to edit app. That's new. I high five Microsoft. I like that one. Uh, so sometimes we have the problem where we share with another co-owner and it doesn't show up in their list for five or 10 minutes and everybody goes, Wah! so now you can just grab that link and then send that straight to that new co-owner so they can start editing even before the, the UI updates with it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, nothing wild and crazy here, but worth noting that this changed, especially those of you that you know, have like internal docs and stuff, you might want to update those so they all look uh, a little more like the new style. Okay, so speaking of the new style, if we jump over to an app, one sec. Here, you, I'm sure you've already noticed we got the little dots uh, in the background here to kind of get some more consistency across the products. Even if you play the app, the little dots, they don't do anything. They're kind of pointless, but eh, whatever, they're there. Uh, but what is uh, new that is not pointless is if you look over on the left, they have changed the left-hand rail. So once again, if you've got documentation, things like that to update, make sure you're doing that. And one of the things that's not ideal, I don't think, but now you can see that they have hidden media, power automate, and advanced tools behind ellipses, right? Just anytime something's missing, look for the dot, dot, dot. That's where Microsoft likes to hide things, which makes sense. I mean, what they're for, but it's like, you know, on the forms, when you go to add a field and stuff, right? Like custom cards is hidden tiny little dots at the top of the screen. So we just got used to looking for those. But anyway, so none of this is really different. Just, you know, they look a little bit different, like the data, right? But it's all works the same. Just the rail is slightly different. Now, what else is different that I don't really appreciate is different? Right? The rail being different, I don't care, right? But if you go here and insert a container, and so if we insert a horizontal container, right? And we look in the tree view, we got the little box that basically looks like a screen. And if we insert a vertical container right here, it looks exactly the same. And if we insert a regular old fashioned container, it looks the same as well. Boo. All right, it used to be that depending on if it was a horizontal or vertical container, and maybe I'll put a screenshot up from an old app video, but there, you, there was a different look, right? It was like two pieces beside each other, two pieces stacked, and the regular container was just a container. Um, so this is a change that we don't love, but I wanted to point that out for you all. So you are going to probably trip over that at some point and be like, hey, all my containers look the same. It's not you, it's Power Apps. All right, last one on the Power Apps front. This is over here under settings. Uh, just a reminder that uh, co-authoring is now uh, GA, right? General availability, it's it's open, it's ready to be used, it's ready for prime time. Uh, so if you have the need to have multiple editors in an app, 
co-authoring is now up and should be ready to be used. Uh, if you're not, haven't checked out co-authoring, right up there is a link to the video. I did an early preview of it back in July. Um, so everything in there is still good. So go check that video out on how it works, but it is now safe to use and take advantage of in production apps because it is generally available, right? When I say GA, that's what they mean. Generally available, it's safe, it's done, it's published, it's solid, it's stable, okay? So there you go. So that's all my Power Apps updates. Um, I got two updates on Power Automate. The first one was with Power Automate Cloudflow. So let's go over there. So here in Power Automate Cloudflow, and this has been out for a while, but I think everyone missed it, right? So a lot of times when you're in here messing around with your actions, you know, you're like, all right, I gotta copy something from here to this one, maybe to this one. Um, you know, you gotta do them one at a time. Oh, you don't, right? So if we click on any action up here in the ellipses again, but these are up and down instead of sideways, nah, whatever. Hit the drop down and pin an action. So if you pin an action, now if we switch to other ones, they just show up side by side with the pinned one staying put. Now, if we try to pin the second one, you can't, you can only have one pinned at a time. But that to me is a, a much better quality of life improvement than we might have realized, right? Being able to have two of these open side by side, a lot like we used to in the old days with the, the old designer. So I wanna make sure you knew that little feature was hidden up there at the top. And then the last little feature here is Power Automate Desktop. So if you're not checking out Power Automate Desktop, you should, it's a pretty cool little tool. And remember, most of you have it included with your Windows licensing to run local versions of this, right? It's not until you start doing cloud interactivity stuff that, you know, get into premium licensing. Anyway, not discussing licensing, but just keep in mind that a lot of you probably have this to do local automations. And so it, they've made a lot of changes here recently. They introduced Power FX, um, but the last one tier right around Copilot so now you can describe it with Copilot, so you can use words to help it build the first one for you. Yeah, Record with Copilot though. This one is super fun. I don't have a video on this yet. Leave me a comment if you think I should make a video on this or if that's too far outside of range, I don't know. Record with Copilot. What you're gonna do is when you hit start here, it is going to record your screen and your microphone, and then you're going to do the activity and tell it what you're doing and why you're doing it. So what we're trying to do here with the microphone is give AI give Copilot more context about what is going on. So then that way, as they get better, they can start to become more self-healing. Like it's the pathway to these, you know, recorded, you know, there's macros like screen recording, you know, steps becoming more than just click this pixel, then click this pixel, but starting to understand, hey, I want to print now. So I'm going in the print button. And so it understands, okay, find the print button on the screen and click the print button, right? This is a big step forward. I'm really excited about this feature. Um, you know, it's brand new. It doesn't work perfect yet, I'm not gonna lie, but it's super interesting. And if you're into AI at all, which you all should be, I think it's one worth spending a few minutes checking out. Okay, that's it for today, right? Just a quick little look at all these little things that I wanna get out there that like I said, none of them warranted their own video unless you tell me otherwise, but I wanted to kind of get this information out in front of you. And let me know below, like, do you like this idea of just quick little hitters? Do you like the video? Did you click the button? Did you subscribe? <laughs> you know, do all those things. But yeah, I just thought this was a fun way to share a bunch of information. So with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day.